Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. How's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. We got a couple gas. Oh, there's one there. There's another one over here somewhere, isn't there? Uh, let's see if there's any activity inside the fortress. I see a blaze and a magma cube. Wow. No nether or wither skeletons. Huh. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am back. I scheduled it, a, a video to go live on uh, last week. It's been on Monday. Hopefully, it did. I didn't actually check on it. I was on vacation. I am now back, and I am um, taking the day off. We went camping. Let's go Castlebacks. Um. <clears throat> We went camping uh, up in Oregon, on the coast in a in a state park called Beverly Beach. It's a it's a pretty neat little uh, area. It's right on the beach, hence the name Beverly Beach. And they have a campground right there. And where does this put me on? All right. Should build a building around uh, the portal here. It's, it was kind of in an arbitrary location just because I wanted to flatten this out because I thought I was going to put a pyramid here. Uh, did not. Put the pyramid somewhere else because this area is not big enough for the pyramid. Believe it or not, it's not big enough. Pyramid's larger than this. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I want to check the iron farm. See if in the last week, week and a half, there's been no iron. That's fine. Nobody's been nearby. That's totally fine. Uh, Eric Hulk is on the server. He's probably in his underwater base working on it, which is cool. Now that there's a portal, you can go back and forth pretty easily. Um, I need to go visit my place and see, see if there's been any changes over there. Woohoo! <clears throat> so we go camping. It's a it's an annual thing with my sister, her husband, two daughters, and we have friends who live up in Portland as well, and they they come along for the camping. It's uh, friends and their two kids, son and daughter. Staircase. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. We. It felt short this year. It was only like three days, but uh, so next year we may we may add another day to the trip. Uh, this is like our the fourth year that the camping has happened. It's pretty cool. Hi, chicken. I don't know what to do for you. You could jump. All the other chickens appear to be gone, though. Okay. Which is fine by me. It was a self-correcting problem. Um, yeah, so we did that. And then we went uh, the night after the camping. But before our plane flight, we went and uh, Chaw Power G and I stayed at the Edgefield. Which is a... I've probably talked about in the past. It's a... Uh, <coughs> McMenamins is this company that has uh, mostly bars and pubs but they they buy old historic properties and they turn them into hotels and pubs and restaurants and things like that and as far as I can tell nothing nothing different going on here um, um, so they yeah so they do that um, and they bought this property, Edgefield, which is used to be 
a poor farm. Back when there were such things as poor farms, uh, and for Multnomah County. So basically, if you were if you were unable to pay your bills, pay your taxes, uh, you might end up in this place, and you would get a, a place to stay. And they had a farm on the property, and the 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 tenants would work on the farm and pay off their debts. Um, hi. Um, and now, the 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 main building where they all used to live is all hotel rooms, and then there's a extension arm a wing. Oh, turtle made his way over there. Um, and. Um, so it's all it's all rooms and and they they rent them out as hotel rooms. There's no television. There's no telephone. There's no there's no air conditioning. It's it's very uh, and the mattresses are not particularly great. Um, but the rooms aren't that expensive and there's lots of things to do on the property. They have lots of bars and if you're into drinking in particular, there's lots of things to do. So they have. Uh, bars and they have a distillery and a winery and you can you can tour those things and you can get flights of wine and and uh, distilled spirits they have a golf course and they have a golf cart that drives around the golf cart selling booze so if you want you can uh, get um, you can get uh, you know, you can get beer and, and whatnot, whiskey, and whatnot, on the golf course while you golf. It's pretty cool. Uh, they also have a nice restaurant. They have a movie theater. Uh, not a particularly great movie theater, but it's a little movie theater. And they show sort of uh, what you would probably characterize as second-run movies. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we call it sort of a uh, summer camp for adults because that's kind of what it feels like. Um so, okay. I need to take care of these iron golems. I'm gonna pull out a few, um, pull out a few villagers. And did I start, I didn't start populating this side, did I? No, nope. don't need to. Um, I see a couple white coats in there. There might be a librarian. Let's see if we can develop a librarian or two. See what we got. Grab a couple brown coats and stash them over here and then uh, continue didn't really have much plan I didn't didn't actually know what the state of anything was on the server everything looks pretty pretty much the same I need to find a home for David S. Pumpkins I've been saying that for a year and a half now almost two years but okay all right, give me a sec. Hello, Mr. Librarian. Let's get you out here. <clears throat> so another cool thing that the Edgefield does is they put on a summer concert series and they get some pretty, uh, some pretty big name uh, musicians to come play um, and they take over part of the golf course and they set up um, oops. Um, and they set up a stage area and they set up a um, And they set up a bunch of vendors where you can buy their beer, their ice cream, and all that good stuff and food. Um, and they bring in the, the musicians and they put on the concert series. It's pretty cool. Uh, we we have been there and gone and we've gone up to see bands play. Hi, Mister. You're not actually Mister Fletcher, but you are a Fletcher, which is good. Okay. There was another white coat over here, I think. Um, so we, knowing that they do the concert series, um, on our way 
before we went to the hotel, we, we went in and checked and said, hey, let's see if there's anybody playing there because that might impact our uh, ability to upgrade the room, that reservation that we had. And uh, sure enough, there was somebody playing and it was Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, it was sold out, but we were like, oh, we'd like to see Weird Al Yankovic play. I've never seen him before, and uh, Twilight Power G had seen him once in like 1985, so it'd been quite a while. So we uh, we went and went on StubHub and checked, and we found tickets, and a couple really good tickets on top of that. So we went and uh, we saw Weird Al, which was pretty cool. And it was his uh, Strings Attached tour, which was effectively a anniversary, like a 40th anniversary tour. Uh, and he had a full symphony orchestra playing with him, which was interesting and unusual. Uh, but it was, it was a really good show. We had a great time and I met some people and it was pretty cool. Very, uh, wait. Why am I short? Or am I short? I don't know. So, that's what was been going on for me for the last little bit. Um, did not log on to the server. Haven't even really thought about it. Alright, so all of these crops are completely, uh, completely grown, which means... Try that again. There we go. Uh, which means the village is fully populated. Uh, the f the brown coats, the farmers, and and others that will do the farming have uh, run out of villagers that need food in order to breed. Okay, and I've got two librarians here. Curse of Binding for 30. No, that's no good. Blast Protection 1 for 13. That's not much better. All right. So, oh, notice they're already breeding. And this guy is, this is the cartographer. Um, so the funny thing is, of course, as soon as we upgrade the server, we will have no need for this sorting of villager types because we can make any villager anything we want. But, let me go get some paper and let us develop these librarians a little bit and see what they got and see if it's worth. There's some paper. Let's take more paper and see what we got. Hi, we got a little baby already. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. W Mr. Cartographer. Ah, uh -huh. let's uh, let's do something here. Let me get a couple more minecarts. And let's see if I can get you up on the flat land. Get you in a minecart. You are a cartographer, so I don't actually need you. So what we can do is this. So, um, no, and see, farmers are farming again because they need to get food to feed the other villagers, and I don't know that we have any farmer. Okay, so here's Mr. Fletcher. He's a brown. Oh, we had another Fletcher over on the other side. Oh, here's a brown coat. That's, this is probably the guy we were talking to. So, if I can get him, if he comes out of his, uh, 
little house there. We can get him stored off over there. And then I think we only need one more brown coat to build up the, the uh, carrot farm. And there we go. Okay. Hi. You are a librarian. So I've got that. Um, huh. Um, oh, yeah. Hang on a second. I have, I think I've mentioned it, but I haven't actually shown it. I have a spreadsheet of all the villagers and all the enchants. So I know, like this here, blast protection one is not good because I have a blast protection four guy for 21. And this is, you know, so we don't need, we don't need this, but we need to unlock his other traits. Um, so let's go, huh? Let's go get some more emeralds and see what we can do. Go until he locks up. 23. There we go. And there he unlocks. Okay. So every time he unlocks, if he's got additional trades to unlock, he will open up one or more of them. Um, so... For one emerald, you can get five blocks of glass. That's not a bad trade, actually. And then, that will unlock him, so we may as well just run here until we run out of paper trade. Um, or I run out of paper. 26. Uh, because even though he locks up, this will, the trade will get better. 37, okay. Okay. Now he'll unlock because of the first time you trade. Empty this. Let's get a few more of these. Put this up here. Put this down here. And now I've got 16 emeralds, so I can trade him some of the other things to unlock him. But let's see what we got. Knockback 2 for 30. That's not going to be particularly good. I have a knockback 2 for 8. Um, so we got one more chance at this guy doing something good here. So. Let's uh, let's get a couple bookshelves because I bookshelves are actually useful, and let's uh, replace those emeralds. Uh -huh. Oh, that, that locked up quickly, but he'll unlock. Yes, he did. Now let's see what we got. Loyalty two for twenty-seven. Loyalty is a relatively new one. Loyalty 3 for 14. So, in other words, you're kind of useless to me. Okay, that's fine. Whoops, nope, wrong way. Let's see what this guy's got. So, we start out with a Curse of Binding for 30. Curse of Binding I've got here somewhere. I've got them in order. Curse of Binding for 10. So obviously not. I didn't expect that was going to be a good trade. And this is kind of a high paper trade. But. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. So other things we did while in the Portland area we went to a place called Olympia Provisions it used to be called Olympic Provisions but they got uh, they got sued by International Olympic Committee which is kind of ridiculous over the use of the name Olympic because everyone was going to confuse them with uh, the International Olympic Committee and the Olympic Games uh, but they got they got a cease and desist, and I think they they even lost in court, which is kind of ridiculous. That the Olympic Games should be able to tell people that they can't use the word Olympic, especially when they're in the range of the Olympic Mountains. Um, but if you don't actually work. Um, Um, so apparently the, the, uh, the ruling was that if, uh, 
if the the name Olympic was being used in relation to the name of an existing feature like the Olympic, um, the Olympic mountain range. Oh no! Don't do that there. Wait. Or do we need to? Yeah, we do. No, we don't need to, but we're going to. Um, then. Uh, oh, I should have got more paper before I did that. It's okay. We'll, we'll we'll get some of the emeralds back. The hill unlock. Uh, so like if if you know the Olympic Mountain range is still allowed to use the name Olympic. Luck of the sea two for fifteen. Luck of the sea. Luck of the sea. Luck of the sea three for eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Not not a great deal. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, good news for the Olympic mountain range, um, but yeah, uh, the whole situation is kind of annoying. Anyway, but they make fantastic cured meats and they have, uh, oh, what can I trade you for? I already, did I get a bookshelf from you? Yeah, I think I did. Did I get glass from you? Yes, I did. Um... Eight books? Well, let's see if you unlock. If not, I'll get some books. You're not going to unlock. Okay. I have some books in here. So I have bookshelves. So let's break some bookshelves. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we went in. They have a, they have a couple of restaurants. Uh, in the Portland area, so we went and had dinner at one of those. It was fantastic, and uh, their cured meats are all gluten free, and they have slime books. Um, they have some uh, wide selection of of uh, cured meats, sausages, and things like that that you can uh, get. So we went and got some of those. So it was, it was good. Um, then we went camping, came back, stayed at the Edgefield. Thorns one for 16. That is going to be a really bad deal. Thorns three for 14. Yeah, okay. So you're not, you're not useful to me at all. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Gonna have to do this. Um, yeah. Oops. I only want one of you to go at once. Because if the, uh, the chamber fills up, then the system kind of malfunctions and I have a villager making his way back over here. Okay, now I can push you. So anyway, that was good. It was a good thing to do to get away. Uh, in about a month, I'm getting on a on a ship. We're going to go cruising in the Mediterranean, and that's a 10-day cruise. So we've got, I, you know, we like doing cruises for a variety of reasons, um, um, and we haven't been on one in a couple years. So this will be a nice, uh, nice getaway. But uh, we're going. The cruise leaves from Rome, and then goes uh, to a couple places in Italy and Spain and Monte Carlo um, just kind of around the Mediterranean and then ends back up in Rome so that's uh, that'll be cool I've never been to Europe uh, so that will be that will be a nice experience for me um, we spent two days in Barcelona, which I'm especially excited for because a lot of the really great magic happening these days is happening in Spain, especially when it comes to cards. There's a lot of great Spanish card magicians. Uh, so I'm, I have to figure out where to go in Barcelona to see uh, some magic. But uh, And the world's oldest magic shop happens to be in Barcelona. 
So that's that's exciting in and of itself. So we are we will be going to that shop. Now it's had some financial difficulties in recent years apparently, and they're looking to maybe sell the shop. And I hope somebody who is local and appreciates what it is has the uh, the sense to buy it and and sort of continue the tradition. Oh. Eric Hulk logged off. I did not see him do that. Let me go sleep so the villagers come out and continue doing their thing. There it is. Eric Hulk left the game. Very nice. So anyway, that's uh very excited about that. The cruise um, we leave. That's about a month away. So I have a little bit of time before then. And yeah, um, so there's that. I don't remember when I recorded the last episode. It was obviously before last Monday. Uh, before we left, I may have been... I, I don't know. So I went to... I was able to go to the Magic Castle a uh, week before we left to see uh, Rob Zabrecki perform. Probably mentioned uh, Zabrecki with uh, friends of mine who uh, are, know him and are friends with him. Oh, hello. Let's get you, uh, let's get you squared away. And, um, sorry. Not available. Not available. There we go. Ha! Ah! Okay. Uh, so, there was a convention going on in Las Vegas called Vegas Live, or Magic Live. And, um, some of the people who were performing, who were scheduled to perform at the castle, uh, the week before I left for the camping trip were scheduled to perform and appear lecture, whatever at magic live. Um, so they needed some people to fill in for one night, um, before people from magic live got back in town. Uh, so Danny De Ortiz was one of the people who was at Magic Live um, and was scheduled to perform at the castle in the Peller Theater uh, Thursday through Sunday. They normally, the Peller shows normally are Wednesday through Thursday. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so they needed someone to fill in, I think is what happened. So, so Zabrecki was, uh, performing on Wednesday only. And the show was the, the title of the show was listed as being total Zabrecki, uh, which I thought maybe meant he was trying out new material, like a new show idea. And there was, you know, there was stuff in there that he hadn't performed last time I saw him. Um, including a very funny game show bit. Uh, but, so uh, I was able to host my friends who brought me in to see Zabrecki. I was able to host him, and Rob didn't know we were coming. <laughs> so, uh, it was a nice surprise when he saw us uh, hanging out in the castle waiting to see the show. Uh, and the, the Peller Theater sometimes is difficult to get into. Um, so we had to we had to wait a little bit uh, to to actually see the show but it's totally fine that was the whole point of why we wanted to be there was to see him and I did we I did get to see a couple of the other acts <clears throat> uh, while I was waiting uh, so that was you know that was cool but we did uh, Got to go see Zabrecki perform, and it was a very good show. Very happy. And that's the great thing about being a member is I can just show up and walk in, bring friends with me, and say, I'm basically, I'm here to see one thing and have it be fine. So, anyway, um, I think that's pretty much everything that has been going on. I'm missing a rail somewhere. Should have 60. May have lost one in here. Let's see if it's still floating somewhere. Hello, potential librarian. 